Ooh, here we go, folks. A little fancy UI to start off the Royal Rumble. I, I don't have save space. I'm sorry. That's never going to happen. I'm never going to have save space on the PS2. Yes, start the game. <laughs> now, this one is a fancy game because it is SmackDown versus Raw versus... Well, I'll just wait. I'll just wait. Let the big three intros do their thing. I think Jack Pacific hits the hardest just because it does like three different things. Although you used to have a fun little intro back in the day. Another cry where... And see, now, this is where the games get bad because they're branching out from what made them famous. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know about this intro, though. And I said I did like the UI, but I don't know. Uh, whoa there, tough guy. I'm toughing it out. I ain't watching no damn videos. Wait. It doesn't say it at the menu. Does it say it at the thing? I'm trying to go to a play now really quick. It doesn't really. Hold on. Okay, it says it when you select a guy. Marcus Corvon. I have no memory of that guy. At all. Who the hell is Marcus Corvon? Um, but I was going to say, this one is SmackDown versus Raw versus ECW. Little, little twist on it. For when they revitalized ECW for like two years, I think, in like 2007, 2008. So it's, it's a fun one. It's a fun one. And if you do the GM mode, you can select uh, ECW. For one of your brands. I mean, and uh, what do you call it? You compete with two computers and stuff. So, you know, there's a couple twists on it. But I gotta figure out this little menu really quick. Oh, these are. Those are that. Oh. Yeah, and I also stayed up way too late last night, so this might be a laden. No. <laughs> I keep doing single match. I don't want. Okay, here we go. We got the plethora of matches now. Might want to do an ECW Extreme Rules match. I mean, first, well, no, we we didn't do a Money in the Bank. We should show off a Money in the Bank, right? Yeah, let's show off Money in the Bank. That might be a second, but I'm all for it. I think my boy Mark Henry's in this one. Yeah, we got to go with Mark Henry, world's strongest man. Who else is interesting that we haven't used? We've used Umaga. Have we used William Re Oh, Tommy Dreamer, ECW legend, reppin'. Sandman. Randy Orton. Ah, uh, we've used Orton, but we'll use Orton again. Uh, ooh, Shad. Gotta rep Shad. Uh, MVP, let's do it. All right, that's a Money in the Bank match right there. I'll tell you that. I mean, I, I love the shtick of heat, but this is too hot for heat, if you know what I mean. We're going... Do we have any ECW maps? We don't have an ECW map? Oh. Okay, yeah, we have one generic ECW map. I wonder what Sandman's intro is going to be. Is he still going to be cracking the beer can on his head? Seems a little violent for a WWE game. Oh, gotta love the Fulster. I didn't know he debuted way... Well, it's probably counting the character Foley. Not like Mankind and Dude Love and all that. Because I was like, there's no way Foley debuted that late in 96. Somebody gonna get the ass kicked. I'm pretty sure this is 3-6 Mafia that does fucking... Mark Henry's theme. Love it. 380 pounds? How is the big show like 200 pounds heavier than him? I also remember when fucking Teddy Long was his manager and Teddy Long would just always be like, ah, fucking kick his ass. Like he'd always just encourage him to fucking tear people in half. Like Mark Henry would look at him for a second, 
And then uh, Theo would just like make the breaking in half motion. <laughs> Break his neck, break his neck, beat him up, beat him up, break his neck, break his neck. Mark Henry should have gotten like at least, I don't even know if he got a WWE title. I was going to say he should have at least gotten like two or three WWE reigns. How are you going to have a guy that strong and just never put the title on him? The legend killer! Gonna tarnish Shy Dunn to May! James the Rhymes! I wish they had Cowboy Billy Bob in here. So we could have, I think they have had him in a couple games where you can do like a son and, son and daughter tag match. You gotta eat the rhyme. <laughs> hey, a Randy Orton uses all the watermelon. <laughs> this actually looks pretty good graphically. I will give it that. I haven't seen. I haven't played any gameplay. It is. Woo. I can't even remember the last time I played this game, so had to have at least been a decade. Like, those other games, I said it was a decade, but like, this one, for real, for real. So that way, could have, well, no, it couldn't have possibly been two decades, because <laughs> I'm trying to input the math here into my little computer. Two decades would be 2004, and this came out in like 2007, but like, probably a year after this game came out? This one wasn't very memorable to me, you know? Because, like, as I was kind of saying in the last episode, this is when the game started to fall off to me. Um, just because I kind of stopped watching wrestling at the time, you know? All my friends stopped watching it. And, I don't know, I just kind of got more into video games and other stuff instead. Hey, video games and sports. It was mainly sports, actually. Like, basketball and football took up more of my time. Uh, I think Tommy, Tommy Dreamer's overrated as fuck. <laughs> I think he's kind of a douchebag, but it was kind of cool that he was on Impractical Jokers. He is also kind of the ECW guy, like when you yo, think of ECW. Yo, yo, Papa Forty, and check your rollies. It's crime time. Oh, crime time! I forgot. From Brooklyn, New York. Um. Um. Uh, what the hell is I gonna say? Like, when you think of ECW, you either think, "Oh my God, I'm sorry, I'm yawning so much." I'm like. Gone 24 hours, going on 24 hours right now. Um, <laughs> no more Hollywood. Oh, this is sad, man. I love Shad. Um, uh, you either think of Tommy Dreamer or Rob Van Dam when you think of ECW. And I mean, I think of Rob Van Dam because Rob Van Dam was way more fucking hype. But I, I guess I could understand why you would think of Tommy Dreamer. But just not my. Not my cup of tea. Especially because he comes up uh, as a little cup. These guys should have got more time. I feel like they tried to bring something like that back with the fucking B Fab shit out of the. Remember their fucking stable name, but I remember they had a singer called B Fab, which would like rap with them. Oh, the Sandman! Oh, he does have the beer! Let's see how crazy he goes with it. Oh, he's not smashing it. He just fucking shook it up. Oh! Oh! 
Oh, that's what we wanted to see. There we go. That's a 10 out of 10 intro, if you ask me. Went from 0 out of 10 to 10 out of 10 in an instant. I wonder if he actually did that, shook it up first before he uh, smashed it. That would make sense. That would probably lessen the impact. And I thought Sandman's song was something, uh... This doesn't... This sounds generic as shit for Sandman. I thought it was like... Enter Sandman or like Pantera or something. Probably didn't want to pay the rent. Now what I'm wondering... Is if fucking Sandman and Tommy Dreamer are gonna start this fucking match with Stick? I mean, I'm Mark Henry, I'll take it all day. I'll go right for Tommy Dreamer. And the opponent. Oh, prime MVP. Porter, and I'm coming. I'm coming. I had a friend back in the day who MVP was his favorite wrestler in this era. And I can see it, man. MVP had a lot of swag to him. I should have put <laughs> the guys of the theme. I honestly thought it was the boogeyman. <laughs> I remember when they brought MVP, I don't know if he's still in, but I remember when they brought him back as like Bobby Lashley's ma manager. That worked pretty well for a while. But honestly, I don't remember much. I remember he was good, but I don't remember like any rivalries he had the first time. Maybe The Miz? That sounds familiar. But yeah, I don't know. He was just kind of a phenomenon when MVP first came. He said the swag to him, you know? Some guys have that thing on them. Maria! I thought it said her birth was 2004. So yeah, we got two year old. Oh, I hate the term Ziva. Two year old woman wrestlers in now. Outside the ring, giving her the nickname Boop. Okay. Hey, Boop. Let's go to the movies, Boop. Oh, God. Welcome to a night of extreme action emanating from Phoenix. All right, Arizona. let's go, Orton. You the and me. Has been anxious for ECW, and we're here Got to to remember the controls. So far, so good. I can't hear you, Cole. You're going to have to speak up. Oh, Jesus, what the fuck is this? I see a bunch of right stick. Oh, I countered. And now he's going to give them exactly what they want to see. I said, look at this. What are these locks on the screen? And shit, there's so much going on. Dude, Orton's getting fucked up. I'll take that, though. This crowd is really small. This guy's head. The fans definitely love this superstar partner, and for good reason. Here it is. He's building up I have no stage. idea what's going on, but I'll take it. This might be a 40-minute ladder match, but get strapped in, folks. Orton just cannot catch a break, and I love it. I don't. Is there stamina in this one? I don't think there is. Maybe they took the stamina system out. Oh, you hold to heal, I think? Instead like of stamina, you hold to heal your body? I guess that makes yeah. sense. But the ladder of success goes both ways. Losing side, that means a trip. Oh, someone's one. bringing a ladder in. Someone's getting cocky. Uh, 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 it's too close to fall. It all falls it's down. too close to call. What are you talking about? I don't know what's going on, man. Oh, I thought I saw my me. <laughs> when you hold select, like people from the crowd disappear. It's great. Oh my God! Yeah. Wait. 
I can't tell which are my problems and which are other people. Wrench. A wrench it! You say it like it's a good thing. I wish Mark Henry would focus more on winning matches and less on ending Dude, Orton's fucked. This superstar oh no, Sandman's coming for me. This capacity crowd. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what. One mistake and we're going to see that fire go out pronto. Oh wait, how? How? Switch targets. Someone! Someone! Get him! I think he could be going home with the money in the bank briefcase right here. Uh, you know what? I'll just stick to Orton. <laughs> you guys, you guys help. Fortune is within his grasp. Can he reach it? Oh, Jesus Christ. Fuck! There's a dude with guts. <laughs> I like how he's like, nah, I'm not even going for that, bro. I know like two buttons in this right now. <laughs> but you know what? It's doing it. It's doing it for me. Why did Dreamer just lose half the shit? Oh no. Orton uh, seems to have caught his shit. Oh, because Shad got finisher. Match. That's what that Why fucking sonic sound was. Jealousy? Maybe you didn't always get that kind of reaction from the audience. He could all he wants, what the fuck? Get in the ring, ring Henry! What are you left. doing? I think he's going to risk that to add a little Get in the ring! Oh my god. Is this my life now? <laughs> he's taking a little time to give his opponent a piece of his mind. You know something? Sandman! Ladder man! Okay, guys, I don't think we need two ladders in the mat in the match. That seems excessive. How do you compare today's superstars with those when you were ha? Ah, when you were ha ah, ladder ha? No. Oh, I was gonna call. Wait, can I trash him? If he grabs that briefcase, how do I grab? I want to toss him both. These competitors are gonna That's bullshit. Until someone falls off the ladder. He was once Orton is so fucked. <laughs> Maybe that's uh, what he called Mark Henry's real strength, just doing power grappling moves on people. I hear you. Electricity is in the air, and these superstars are doing everything. While everyone else does their specialty shit, just fucking bombard them with suplexes. Right, how can I pick up shit? But his methods are questionable to say the least. Oh, this is gonna kill Dreamer. Rest in peace, Dreams. Oh. This is not a fight that either combat can afford to lose. God, everyone's just going crazy, doing fucking Jeff Hardy shit. Everyone's gonna leave the arena with a smile on their face. Not everyone. Remember. Someone's got to lose, and losing's not fun. Good point. Rampage? We're on a slow-mo mode for Shad. What is this shit? I've known Tommy Dreamer almost forever. Sometimes I wonder if the guy's got more guts than brains. I have a feeling as long as ECW keeps filling up arenas, Tommy Dreamer will keep lacing up his boots. Well, that didn't answer the question. Chad isn't afraid to do whatever it takes. Uh, Even if it means going behind wrench, the back. Wrench. Isn't that a case of the pot calling the kettle black, partner? What's with all the pots and kettles and stuff? What are you doing, like a cooking show now? God, this commentary sometimes. I don't know how to get up the lap. Sandman's got something in common with Sandman's his got some sand in his pocket. Well, matches aren't his finishing pages, pocket sand will catch MVP. There goes your chance to make it big in the business then, kid. <laughs> I love the random ass grunting. I gotta tell you, I was so pumped up about Oh! I love the slow-mo when I'm slamming MVP. This could be big, but it could backfire real bad. <laughs> oh, I have finish. How do I use my finish? If he can grab that briefcase... Oh, he's holding on! Someone punch him or something! Oh, I could have done my finisher. Wait, is he... Oh my god, he was holding on to that thing for a while. I 
decision by SmackDown's general manager. Teddy Long is no rock. They're all just going for it constantly like that, now. But he's I don't know how to good go for that thing. Wow, I don't even know how to climb the goddamn ladder. Oh, God. Dreamer just fucked up. He's done. I need to use the world's strongest slam on someone. He's already the world's strongest man. What's he got left to prove? Listen. There's plenty to prove. Why there are so many dangerous objects under the ring. I need to prove that I'm the man in the bank. <laughs> what a shot. That sledgehammer will mess you up for good. How does someone even... Oh, wait, did I lose my finisher? What the fuck was that? I thought I stored it. Oh my god, this is just chaos. People hitting everyone with ladders. Like this. What? <laughs> Besides the endless workouts, travel, and mental anguish... That's one of my favorite things to do, just fucking with them. Couch. Pulling them outside the ring. I know that. No! Why does this option exist? It's a glitch state. Fuck this glitch state. What's wrong with that? Oh my god. Someone punch me off the fucking apron, please. Shad, you're in rampage mode. Do it to me, please. Dude, this is so. Te this is a glitch. I say go for the leg. Sound like a manager. You ever considered that career path? Oh my God. Oh, what? Thank you, Jesus Christ. L1 every time. I'd say this. I don't know. Everyone's body is completely fucked. I mean, I guess I have the best body, but Jesus. I mean, Mark Henry does have a pretty sexy body. I think it's time to bring out the heavy firepower. The heavy firepower? Is this going to be trouble? God, the game's like going in slow mo because everyone's got their shit. It appears he's bleeding from that last shot. What did I just pick up? Oh, I picked up MVP. Now would be a good time. Now would be a good time to. What an underhanded move. Like I've said before, this ain't ballet. Not that there is any rules in ballet. Now that I think about it. No, no, I'm thinking about it. Dreamer! Someone stop him! Randy! Stop that man! Not only. He's literally inches away. No! How do I. Dude, how do I tug? How do I get on the chain? Oh my god. I love the lag. I love the slowdown. Oh, next person on the goddamn thing is probably going to take it. I don't get it. Why not go for the kill? I'm trying to go for the kill. I don't know how to do anything. <laughs> I feel like this is the most law. I felt like I had more control in those attitude games on uh, N64. Oh my god, everyone's everyone's moving slow. Add out of the ring, Randy. I wasn't trying to do that, but you can do. Hey, there we go. Oh my god, she's out of the ring. Wait, where am I? <laughs> so hard to find myself. He's gonna dial it up right now. What a devastating playmate. I don't know if his opponent will be getting up. MVP is one heck of an athlete. But I think his most developed muscle is his tongue. His tongue. Never shuts He's up. He's got a very heavy tongue that he lifts weights with every want. morning at 3 a.m. sharp. Clean match with that show and envy. Nice. Come Come on, set no this bitch up. This anyway. Oh, oh so my God. Well, folks, I don't know if Mark Henry's gonna take this one. <laughs> How lucky are we to have the best seat in the house for this? Oh, uh, get up! Get up, Mark! Just keep getting up. It doesn't matter how many times you get knocked down as long as you keep getting back up, right? Move the ladder. That's got to work, right? Oh, no, I'm on. What's Tommy? Oh! 
Holy shit! Randy Orton just did some high pass shit. Suplex him off. He could have probably won too. He's letting his opponent know who the boss is. Oh my god, MVP stop! Three in a row! Four in a row! was a long, strange trip to get these superstars to square off like this. Uh, no doubt. The shortest distance between two points may be a straight line. Oh, someone's got to intervene. Whoever wins that punching fight is going to win. Another suplex. They're just going hard. This is going to be the last fight of all these wrestlers' careers. The match is far from over, but I'm already looking forward to that. Oh, my God. I can't get up. Don't count your chicks. Oh, I can't. I can't get up. There's a lot of things over the ring, and all of them. I'm just. I've been mashing for like three to five minutes right now. Oh, look at that. He's bleeding like a stuffed pig. I can't. No, is Sandman gonna win this? Not Sandman. Anyone but Sandman. Fucking Sandman! I couldn't even get up. I thought I had the most health. This guy pelted himself in the head with a beer before the match! What the fuck? That's me! That's not even Sandman! <coughs> oh, man. Out of everyone, I thought, honestly thought Dreamer was going to take it. Dreamer or Orton. Look at that victory pose. But honestly, I think I'm going to call it there. Ugh, SmackDown vs. Raw 2008. Not too memorable for me, to be honest. It's just feels more like a transition game into their new system. There's definitely a lot more. Uh, I don't know why the word kinky is the word I'm thinking of, but a lot more niche, fun game WWE games out there. But you know, the next uh, it was the next, I still had this one at the house, and it was the next in line, so I felt like I had to go through this one to see the progression of the SmackDown vs. Raw series, you know. Again, feel like the peak, peak was 2006 for me, SmackDown vs. Raw 2006, SmackDown vs. Raw 2007, still amazing, but I don't know, between 2007 and 2008, I feel like there's a pretty clear shift that they wanted it to be realistic, and I don't know, that they just lost me between those two. And it's a shame because they both have their place, you know, for uh, fans like two, uh, in, you know, 2K wants to be realistic and it's cool, but also NBA Live is off the walls and it's a lot of fun too, so. I understand where the developers, you know, were stuck at, and it's hard, but it's all you gotta really say without retreading too much ground there. You know, it's an okay game, just not my cup of tea, but anyway, I will see you folks next time. Thank you so much for watching the video, and <laughs> I hope you have yourselves a fantastic week. Take care of yourselves out there.